Ford hopes to muscle in on the compact SUV class with its 2025 facelifted Kuga. How does it fare against the all-new 2025 Volkswagen Tiguan R-Line? Ford is currently in the middle of a big product push, with new models coming thick and fast. From SUVs to city cars and everything in between, the firm is trying to fill every gap in the market. The latest addition to the lineup is the new Kuga, which is a heavy reworking of the second-generation model. Featuring bolder looks, a range of revised engines and a refreshed model range, the newcomer is ready to wade into battle in the evolving and increasingly competitive compact SUV class. This sector comprises a host of talented choices, including the recently launched Volkswagen Tiguan. Boasting a mixture of premium appeal, impressive practicality and cutting-edge kit. In the case of Kuga and Tiguan, we are also facing extreme situations. While Ford has only given the Kuga a water, VW has replaced the Tiguan with a completely new car. And if in both cases there are large losses, in reality the two renewed models win overall by having an updated exterior and interior image, greater technical content, more effective safety assistance or more environmentally friendly engines. Let's start comparing engines because it is one of the aspects where there is the most crumb. Ford definitively says goodbye to the diesel, and yes, even though there are still electrified ones in the range, it is a shame. Above all, because the access version is left somewhat unprotected, although in exchange, it allows access to it at more competitive prices than VW to its T1. While the minimum price of the Kuga 1.5 EcoBoost with 150 HP is €34,332, the most affordable engine of the VW Tiguan, the 1.5 et C with 131 HP starts at €37,605. Of course, it adds the value of these elements. In the first case it only sells with a manual transmission while the Tiguan combines all its engines with the DSG automatic transmission. This Kuga does not have an ECO sticker while the ETC does. And, in addition, it is also offered by VW with 150 HP in identical technology. What has been said, value putting your needs on the scale. We believe that the Ford engine will continue to be somewhat lazier while the characteristic that will stand out in the Tiguan ETSI, 130, surely, will be the pleasure of using that engine. For a finer verdict, for now, it is time to rely on official figures. More maximum speed and better acceleration capacity for the Ford Kuga 1.5 EcoBoost, that was clear. VW dominates in efficiency with a record of 6.1 L, 100 km, compared to 6.4 L, 100 km for the Ford SUV. If, on the other hand, we compare that one from Ford with the 1.5 at C of 150 HP. The factor to compare is not so much the dynamics or the efficiency, but the price. From 41,700 euros. In this case, the VW Tiguan does improve the acceleration figure of the Kuga and also maintains the advantage in consumption. If the diesel continues to have a pull we will see it soon. At least the VW Tiguan will be able to experience it in first person. It is also a shame that VW cannot electrify it but it is understood that this engine is much more oriented towards long distances, so, at the very least, congratulations to VW for maintaining a powertrain that many of us would continue to bet on. The 2.0 TDI is also served with a DSG automatic transmission, currently in a 150 version and with front wheel drive. Who needs more? Of course, the outlay for these versions is more than high. The cheapest VW Tiguan 2.0 TDI, 150 costs a fortune, from 40,860 euros. Blindly, I bet that it will be a great car thanks to the extra torque and punch it offers compared to the 1.5 at C, but, above all, because of its fuel economy, it announces 5.3 L, 100 kilometers figures that will be impossible to estimate. Get with the all-new plug-in hybrids when your now generous battery runs out and you have to drive in exclusively hybrid mode. VW, in fact, still has a lot of range left to launch, including four motion all-wheel drive versions, currently absent from the recently announced pressure list. Ford, 
for its part, offers a combined in its FHEV hybrid version. If nothing changes with respect to the outgoing generation, it will once again be an engine that exceeds expectations because in real use it spent very little in the previous version as we had the opportunity to verify. Depending on whether it is two-wheel drive or total, the performance of the Kuga FHEV is 180 or 184 HP, a negligible difference, although in reality there is a very large advantage in the acceleration capacity of the Kuga FHEV AWD. While the lowest consumption of the 2WD is 5.3 L, 100 km, that of the FHEV AWD is 5.7 L, 100 km. In both cases, they combine the 2.54-cylinder Atkinson cycle engine with a 120 The batteries HP have, in both unit. cases, 1.1 kWh capacity. As has been said, there is no equivalent engine in VW, leaving a door wide open through which Ford sneaks in with much more popular prices. The Ford Kuga 2.5 FHEV 2WD has a price from €36,013 while the AWD is €37,870, figures therefore lower than are similar to those of the cheapest VW T1 that we could buy. VW has completely turned around its e-hybrid, its plug-in hybrid technology. If you really want a 2-in-1, the VW T1 is going to be one of the best cars in the category although we imagine that they will also cost a fortune. At the moment, there are no confirmed prices for these versions. The group has already made the jump to the 1.5 TSI engine as a thermal base, one of the main advances of this propulsion set, but larger capacity batteries are also arriving, specifically 19.7 kWh and the possibility of charging at 50 kW of direct current power, or up to 11 kW in alternating current. The offer is divided into two variants, one with 204 HP and the other with 272 HP, but in both cases estimating the range in electric mode at 100 km. Thus, the VW Tiguan will be a true zero-emission SUV in daily use. The Ford Kuga PHEV has more, modest, features, but without a doubt, it will win in price. From €40,873 in its first trim level, like the FHEV, the truth is that the plug-in hybrid of the previous generation left us with a great taste in our mouths due to its low real consumption when traveling despite having a thermal engine that is not a thermal prodigy and that, in addition, it is quite big for what is styled today. Of course, the Kuga PHEV announces a lower electric mileage, 69 kilometers and charging powers of only 3.6 kilowatts for its 14.4 kilowatt hours batteries. Seen at the moment only in photos, the two cars seem to have lost some personality, but we will have to wait to see them in person. The Tiguan now measures 4.54 meters in length, 3 centimeters longer than before, while the Kuga remains at 4.61 meters in its streetline versions, while the Active, with a more country-oriented orientation, measure 3 centimeters longer. And they have a different body height from the ground, although in any case, it is low to try to get off the asphalt with guarantees. Front, grille and bumper are new distinctive elements of both cars. In the case of the Kuga, it now also, crosses, the front using a strip of LEDs above the grille. In both there are also new headlights with matrix technology. IQ Light HD in the case of the VW Tiguan and LED Dynamic Pixel in the case of the Ford Kuga, with predictive lighting. In the case of Ford there are as many new features inside as there are outside, sharing with the VW Tiguan the fashion for large format screens. The digital panel will always be standard on both models. The new Kuga screen now has 13.2 inches, SYNC4 operating system and through it functions that previously had their own physical remote control are now controlled. VW, for its part, mounts the new 15-inch mega screen that debuted in the VW ID.7. The Kuga maintains the gear shift control on the center console while VW has moved it to the steering column by adding a new technical element. A rotating wheel which, in turn, is a small OLED screen through which you can control different parameters, such as different driving modes. Everything indicates that the VW Tiguan will continue to offer materials with a better appearance than its rival, 
but still something to see and touch. What will not be lacking is inner capacity. In addition to magnificent dimensions in all three dimensions, the two SUVs have a rear seat that can be moved forward and the trunk capacity can vary. Ford announces a volume between 412 and 553 liters. VW has only provided one data at the moment, 652 liters, but not in the same conditions, so we will have to compare them when we can have the cars. For now, what we do know is that the Ford Kuga will continue to be one of the most competitive cars on the market for price. Soon, VW will reveal the final details of another Tiguan, the seven-seater version. Ford, in that case, still has no alternative.